Hello, and welcome to this month's Meet the Mayor recap. We are so excited to see Main Street repaved. Someone asked, however, why the intersection of Main and Caldwell isn't also being repaved. Our NCDOT representative has explained that because the asphalt in the middle of that intersection is only five years old, it is not in need of milling and repaving like the rest of Main Street. A number of folks asked about the condition of current sidewalks or the possibility of adding new sidewalks. Staff are looking at the section of the Broad Street sidewalk near Brevard College to see if it needs to be repaired. We are also continuing to lobby NCDOT for the installation of a sidewalk along Neely Road. Since Neely is a state road, such a project will have to be undertaken by NCDOT. I do want to assure you, however, that this is one of my priorities and I'm going to keep up that lobbying effort. People also asked about when the new Jake break regulations will go into effect. You may remember the city recently passed an ordinance prohibiting the use of Jake breaks within the city with certain exceptions. Currently, staff are compiling the locations where signage will be posted and working on the encroachment agreement required by the state before we can post the signs. Residents will be happy to hear that the city's code enforcement officer has worked with the property owner of the old Burger King location to make sure the grass was cut, weeds removed, and the landscaping trimmed back. In general, the Code of Ordinances addresses overgrown grass, weeds, and shrubs. If a property qualifies as a, quote, public nuisance, unquote, our code enforcement officer can address the issue by sending a 10-day notice to the property owner to give them a chance to self-correct the problem before taking any additional steps. If you believe there's an area out of compliance, you can report it online at our city website. On Thursday, we spoke with the City Camper Hotel developer who informed us that work on this project is not scheduled to resume until spring. They are currently getting quotes for the temporary sidewalk repair in front of the site until they resume work in late spring. As a reminder, the City Camper Project is privately owned and managed. We also had a question about the possibility of removing the double bollards on the Estito Trail, leaving single bollards along the path. While the trail's original plans called for double bollards, our planning department is performing a reevaluation of the current bollards to see whether some of them may be reduced to a single bollard centered in the middle of the path for better two-way pedestrian and bike traffic. Folks also brought up speeding they've observed along certain roads. A particular concern was speeding on Mills Avenue and Hillview Circle near the Silverstein Playground. We want to keep everyone moving at safe speeds and are currently using speed data collection signs to study traffic patterns. We have also contracted with a traffic engineering consultant to recommend appropriate traffic calming measures once all the data has been collected and analyzed. Results and recommendations will be discussed at an upcoming public safety committee meeting. These meetings are open to the public and they meet on the fourth Monday of the month at 3.30 in city council chambers. One person had a concern about unhoused residents camping in various spots around town. In accordance with the city's new encampment policy, our staff have received crisis intervention training from VIA health professionals and the required signs are being manufactured. After these are posted, then the city can put the new policy into place and staff can help put these folks in touch with assistive services. Thank you to everyone who came out last week for Meet the Mayor. And I invite you to join me for October's Meet the Mayor session, which is on Thursday, October 26th from 2 to 4 p.m. And this month it will be at the City Council Chambers in City Hall. I hope to see you there.